G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be doing some early AFL 2024 trade rumours with one of the more entertaining trade periods set to happen in October. I thought in today's video we can have an early look and have a little bit of an early insight on how some of the biggest names might play out in this year's trade period. Now before we do get into things make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We are so close to 3k. All the support is greatly appreciated. Now, let's get into some trade rumors. Alrighty, so getting straight into things, the first name we're having a look at is Dan Houston of Port Adelaide now. The halfbacker is currently locked away until 2027 with Port Adelaide, but as he's been in career best form, he's had a few eyes on him, and he's been potentially linked to a few Victorian clubs, primarily Melbourne, but he has strongly knocked back these trade rumors, and this is going to be a very unlikely move to happen. So next we have Tom Barras of the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles key back could be on the move to a Victorian club this trade period. Now despite being contracted till 2027 with the Eagles, he's potentially been linked to a few Victorian clubs, primarily the Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne and Collingwood. Potentially all clubs are offering him around a four to five year deal and if a potential good offer arises for West Coast, it's going to be tough for them not to trade him as he's potentially been a little bit mixed with his opinions on whether he wants to be traded or not. I think as speculation rises, Barras is more likely going to be traded than not. So up next, we have the potential best ruckman on the trade market. That is Tim English of the Western Bulldogs. The All-Australian ruckman is yet to sign a new contract extension with the Dogs. This has now started to raise a little bit of speculation around his name and whether he might want to seek a move back home to WA and potentially join the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles are in desperate need of a ruckman and are going to make a big, big push for him. But with his recent goal celebration potentially hinting at a contract extension, it is more likely with the recent form Tim English is going to be staying with the dogs. So Clayton Oliver of the Melbourne Demons could be seeking a move after a very disappointing on and off field season and has now raised tensions between himself and Melbourne and it could be that Oliver will be seeking a move to SA to join the Adelaide Crows for a fresh start on his career and to get his form back on track. Now with Oliver still having six years left on his massive contract where he'll potentially be making over a million dollars per season, Melbourne will potentially be needing to pay a portion of his salary. So if a move is likely, I think this situation could become very messy for Melbourne and Oliver. So we have another dog on the market, that being Bally Smith of the Western Bulldogs. After tearing his ACL in the 2023 preseason, it now looks likely that Bally Smith will be looking for a fresh start at a new club after falling out of favour at the Western Bulldogs. Now the midfielder has been linked to a few different Victorian clubs, that being primarily Geelong, Hawthorne and Collingwood. All these teams heavily pursuing him, looking to fit him into their season. System. It is super likely that Smith will be leaving, but it's sort of yet to be known which club he'll be heading to. Josh Battle from St Kilda could be getting a massive payday. The Saints backman is in career best form and playing some of the best football for the Saints at the moment. And it is now rumoured that he's potentially going to be moving to Hawthorne to massively boost their defensive stocks as the Hawks look to rise in 2025 and beyond. And it has been rumoured that he is going to be offered a massive deal from Hawthorne that is almost going to be impossible for him to turn down. A move to Hawthorne is very likely for Battle. So Caleb Daniel of the Western Bulldogs, the Premiership player has massively fallen off in form and massively fallen out of favour in the Bulldogs best 22. Now despite knocking back talks that he's going to be looking for a move over to South Australia, it now looks like that the Bulldogs are going to be the leading face of looking to move on from Daniel. It now seems that he's heavily fallen out of favour and there's no coming back so that the Bulldogs might opt into moving Caleb Daniel and it's looking like he might be heading back home to South Australia and potentially joining Adelaide to help give them some experience. So Jack Graham of Richmond could be another Tiger on the move after playing 120 games with Richmond. Graham is now looking for a move up to WA with the Eagles being the front runner of the discussions around Jack Graham. It is looking very likely that he will be heading to the West Coast Eagles in 2025 and beyond. There's always the potential that Freeman might pop up late in these talks, but I feel like a move to WA is going to happen regardless of whichever club. 
Potentially the best key forward on the move will be Jake Waterman from West Coast after playing some career best football. The key forward might be looking for a move down to Victoria to try and take his game to the next level. Two clubs have emerged as the early rumours of that being Melbourne and Geelong. If a move to Victoria is to happen, these two clubs are the most likely, but another Victorian club might pop up in the sweepstakes as we progress. But a move to Victoria at the moment is currently 50-50 for Waterman. So Shai Bolton from Richmond is another Tiger who could be heading up to WA in 2025. Bolton has made it very clear that this offseason he'll be looking to head back home. After feeling homesick, he's been involved with rumours around heading back to the WA for the past couple of seasons now with Richmond now heading towards a very massive rebuild. A move home is super likely. Neither West Coast or Fremantle have emerged as the clear front runners. I think both of these teams will be heavily invested in Bolton, but I think he'll move to either one of these clubs. And the final trade rumour I'm going to have a look at in today's video is Dylan Shield from Essendon. After a very disappointing stint at the Bombers, it now looks like that Shield is going to be moving to a different Victorian club to try and revive his career and try to play some career best footy in his twilight years of his career. Now, only really one club has emerged of the front runner for the Dylan Shield sweepstakes. That being St Kilda, they really love players in that prototype of Shield in the later years of their career and they love to revive these players. So it seems like she will either stay with Essendon or move to the Saints. And just quickly, a few other potential trade rumours, like some players like Chad Warner, Rory Lobb, Harley Reid, Mitch Owies, and a few others. But I didn't really want to talk about these guys, as so far, it doesn't really look like they're going to be moving on to a new club in 2025, but I just thought I'd quickly mention them. But thank you all for watching. That is some early AFL trade rumours for the 2024 off-season. I'm going to be super invested in this year's off-season, trying to give you guys the best possible content. So if you can subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you all in my next video.